Welcome my present or future Action Principles Champions. I'm Bill Fitzpatrick from BillFitzpatrick.com. I'm the founder of the American Success Institute and I am honored to be your teacher on your, your wonderful journey to success. Action Principle number 10, record your thoughts. Yes, I know, a lot of you are looking at me and thinking, Hey, Bill, you're an old guy. You're in your 60s. I can see how you'd be forgetful, and you'd need to write things down. But I'm young. I have a good memory. Well, this is probably true, but please let me offer some suggestions on the very good positive habit of always carrying a pencil and paper. You are, or you will be, an Action Principles champion, a tough, thoughtful, spiritual person of action. You're on a mission. You have dreams, goals, objectives, and ideas. In your 20 minutes of quiet time every day, you are consciously, actively thinking about your immediate plans. This is your conscious mind at work. But you see, all the other hours of your day, your Your subconscious mind is still churning away on those dreams, goals, and objectives. What happens? Well, at the the oddest moments, bang! An inspiring thought, wow, enters your mind. If you have a pencil or paper, you jot down that thought. Just as a memory trigger. Later, then you can go back and you can expand upon that idea. Now, I know that our action principle number 10 says that, well, you know, you can use any, any scraps of paper can be used for note-taking. Generally, this is correct. And certainly we know that there are all kinds of electronic devices that you can use to record your thoughts from voice recorders and laptops, PDAs, Blackberries, Palm Pilot devices. I've tried most of these devices over the years, but you know, I always keep coming back to my 8x10 spiral notebook. This is a, a sampling and just a sampling of some of my books. These books are a permanent record of ideas and plans, some that worked and some that didn't. You see, if you have all those scraps of paper, well, you have a pile of of scraps of paper. This is a permanent archive of your objectives, your plans, your goals. These become your, your permanent reference. Every day, I start with my daily to-do list. Then throughout the day, if I, get, if I get business cards or names or addresses, if I see an article that I like or, or an ad that appeals to me, I can cut them out or I can save them for future reference. I can tape them and I can put them into my notebook. Keeping these books with you then becomes a positive habit. You know, you're never stressed to remember important information. Geez, what was that? Who was that? Because you always know where that information is going to be. It's going to be in your notebook. So, in your notebook, you have your, you have your daily to-do list. You have any inspirational thoughts that have occurred to you during the day the expansion of your ideas, you have all of the contact information that you've gotten that day, you have any ads or articles that you've seen, put them in your book. Now, another important reason for using the notebook is for note-taking during any meetings that you have that day or when you're interviewing someone. Two important things happen when you're sitting there talking to someone and you have your notebook open and your pen out. You see, you become focused, engaged on what is being said. It really helps you concentrate. By taking notes, you become a better listener. 
And psychologically, when other people see you taking notes, well, they are put on notice for, for good or bad that what they're saying is important and is being recorded. I was very happy to see that a few years ago that my record your thoughts method was the exact same method used by billionaire Richard Branson, founder of the Virgin Industries, of hundreds of successful companies. He uses the notebook system. He always has a notebook, pretty much like this one, and a pencil with him. He's always taking notes. He's on the phone. If he's talking to somebody in person, he has that notebook with him. Sir Richard says that when he has free time then, he isn't, he isn't wasting time. He can always open up, look for his ideas, review his notes, and, and start fleshing out any of his good ideas. Finally, at the end of your day, you see, now you have that reference that you can refer back to. You can review your notes. Look at the thing. Here's what I did today. Look back. Did I get everything important that I wanted to do? Did I get that accomplished? Did I put something into my day which was challenging for me that helped me grow? Did I do something to help someone? Did I take an opportunity to spoil myself? Were there places where I could have done these things if I didn't do them? Where have I been? Where am I now? Where am I going? A thinking person of action? What did I accomplish? And what do I want to accomplish next? Always thinking forward. Bottom line, action principle number 10, record your thoughts, is a technique of highly successful people. As an action principle champion, this would be you. Okay, I'll be back shortly with action principle number 11. Use the power of patience. Hoorah! Let's go out. Let's do it. I'm Bill Fitzpatrick. Thank you for listening. For more information on Bill's work, the Action Principles, and the American Success Institute, please visit BillFitzpatrick.com.